Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the mainstay. Live from Rock Hall, it's Saturday night. Uh, for those of us who haven't met, I'm Matt Milnick. I'm the relatively new director, getting older all the time. Um, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And it's a pleasure, a special pleasure to be here with these gentlemen playing music for you tonight. Um, I do have some orders of business to attend to tonight, and I hope you can help me with this. One is uh, that I was contacted yesterday by email by a man named Michael Buckley, who is apparently a, a man who has a, a radio program, and I, I can get to his station and the call letters, but he, I'll read his short email. He says, I don't have email contact with Peg McHugh or Becky Bird, but I'd love for them to listen to my show on Sunday morning when I play one of the very first Voices of the Chesapeake interviews, an interview with our late beloved Tom McHugh, okay? And that's going to be broadcast tomorrow. Uh, it was recorded long before uh, he had any other contacts in Chestertown. Um, they record, he recorded this interview with Tom in 2000 at the WRNR Studios in Annapolis. Uh, so there are going to be, it's going to be broadcast in three segments, one at 7.20 a.m., then 8.20 and 9.20. That's 103.1 on your dial. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. 103.1 on your dial. And I guess there's also a website that you can go to, but I don't see it here. Uh, voice, Voicesofthechesapeakebay.net. But uh, 103.1, is that what Isn't that a rock and roll station? Yes. yes. It is. Yeah. yeah, I listen to that all the time. Anyway, the, uh, the next order of business... Uh, Many of you know Becky Bird, who is like the quintessential den mother of the mainstay. <laughs> She's a doyen. Thank you. Thank you. And unfortunately, last week, just before she uh, closed up for the, the night of a show, she stepped off the porch wrong and fractured her ankle. So uh, I'm hoping that she's watching tonight. I would just like all of us to wish her a get well wish. Get well, Becky. Get well, Becky. Okay. Good. One other quick order of business. Uh, Marty and I were just talking about the importance of turning off the ringers in your phone. How many, how many other people are bugged by these things? Am I the only guy that, like, no, 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 thank you. But I, I figured out, not only do they ring at the most inopportune time, but they ring all the time. And I figured out how to deal with that some of the time. I've recorded a busy signal for my answer message. So uh, that's as far as we're getting tonight in the laughs. Okay. <laughs> So without taking any more time, please welcome Steve Abshire on guitar, Marty Nell on the alto sax, and clarinet, correct? Yes. Okay. And Mr. Robert Britt yes. on the piano. Yes. Hey, thank you so much, Matt. And we are very pleased to be here, and we're glad that you guys are here. And uh, I'm very pleased to be with two of my favorite musicians to play with, uh, Steve and Marty. So our theme is Swinging, the Great American Songbook. So uh, we're going to start out with what I think is an appropriate tune. This is called Strike Up the Band by George Gershwin. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Strike up the band. Uh, once again, Marty now on alto. Steve Apshire on the guitar. 
And uh, these gentlemen were, were a featured soloist for many years with the Navy's premier jazz band, the Commodores. And it's an honor to play with them. <laughs> so so uh, we're going to continue with uh, a Harold Arlen tune. And uh, Harold Arlen is probably best known for the music of The Wizard of Oz. He wrote all the music for The Wizard of Oz, including Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which I think is the maybe the highest selling uh, composition in, in American music history. <laughs> I think it's been recorded by more people uh, than, than any other tune. So, but we're not going to play Over the Rainbow. We're going to play, we're going to play another one of, one of his wonderful compositions. Uh, and this is called Come Rain or Come Shine. And actually, I'll put Marty on the spot for a minute. Marty has a little story about this tune, Come Rain or Come Shine. He'll well, tell you. Well, it was this wedding. That was, it was a mafia wedding. The mafia boss was there. And this, this, this group was up there playing for the, uh, you know, the dinner. And um, one of the hood, hoods, one of the, one of the mafia hoods that protects the, the main guy came up to the band and said, hey, the boss wants to hear Come Rain or Come Shine. And I suggest you play both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so they played the tune twice and they were safe. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much.
Thank you very much. <clears throat> of course, that was All the Things You Are by Jerome Kern, the great Jerome Kern, who wrote so many beautiful tunes, such a big part of the great American songbook. Um, I couldn't print this out in big, big letters, so I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> you guys know how that goes, right? Yeah. I'm trying to say I need these. Well. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have to look at the program here and see what we have. So, um, oh, great. So next, uh, this is um, this is a tune by Matt Dennis. Uh, Matt Dennis wrote a lot of great tunes. In addition to be, in addition to being a great piano player, uh, he was based on the West Coast and played all around uh, um, Los Angeles area. Um, probably his best known song is Angel Eyes, probably most recorded song of his. Uh, but we're going to do another beautiful tune. This is called Everything Happens to Me by Matt Dennis. So if you don't recognize it, it's
Marty now. Beautiful. Next, from the uh, pen of Irving Berlin, who uh, had a huge effect on the Great American Songbook. He wrote, he was really prolific. He wrote hundreds, I think about 1,500 compositions. And uh, he, he played piano, but he had a, you may know this story, he had a very special piano um, because he, he played everything on the, on the black notes, which, which is kind of like the key of G flat or the key of B. No Fats Waller. No, he, no <laughs> but, but Irving Berlin played everything on, on the black notes. That's how he composed music. And, um, and so it got a little frustrating for him when he, when, when he wanted to change keys, you know, like for the bridge, the middle part of the tune or whatever. So there was a piano built for him that had these pedals and he could operate these pedals and it would move, it would move the hammers, you know, one way or the other to a different key, but the, but the black notes still played in that key. <laughs> so he wasn't changing keys. The piano was, and he could always kind of play where he was comfortable. So it's kind of interesting, um, you know, for someone who wrote so much music, he, he did it that way. <laughs> he did it his own way, yeah. And the piano is in the Smithsonian, if you want to see it. And I've seen it. It's there. <laughs> so anyway, here's, um, here's a popular tune by Irving Berlin. This is called Blue Skies. Thank you. 
Thank you. <clears throat> Next is a tune uh, by a composer that may not be all that familiar. His name is Fred Coots. Has anyone had heard of Fred Coots? I didn't think so. Have you guys heard of Fred Coots? <laughs> no, he, um, he's not very well known, but he wrote a couple of very nice tunes, and we're going to play a tune uh, he did called um, For All We Know, and it's a beautiful tune. And one, one tune he wrote uh, that is one of the most popular tunes um, was is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. So, and we're not going to play that. We'll do it in a few, we'll do it in six months or so. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so here's Fred Coots, uh, for all we know. Actually, a great version of this is um, Donny Hathaway. If you remember Donny Hathaway, who used to sing with Roberta Flack, he recorded this song, and it's just absolutely beautiful, almost like in a gospel way. But anyway, I would, I would recommend checking that out. Anyway, Fred Coots, for all we know.
you got Shire. We'll welcome Marty back to the stage, and I think we'll do one more before we uh, take a brief intermission. Um, and again, thank you all so much for being here, and we're having a great time. And uh, swinging the great American songbook with these guys is, it's always going to swing. So <laughs> anyway, thank you. So we'll do one more. We'll do, um, what's that? Oh, that sounded good. Was it? It's always swell to swing. I'm going to just leave that alone right there. Okay, so so we'll <laughs> so we'll close this set with um, a tune from the Richard Rogers songbook, and this is called "Small Hotel." There's a small hotel. Actually, I'll say it real quick. Charlie Bird used to play this tune a lot, and, and that's kind of how we learned it. And uh, when he was playing at the Maryland Inn in Annapolis, he would always say, next we're going to do, there's a small hotel, and you're in it.
Steve Abshire, Marty Now. My name is Robert Redd. Thank you so much. We'll see you in just a few minutes.
All right, I think we'll uh, get ready to start. I hope that all of you filled out one of these forms and put it in the special blue bowl uh, because we're going to now draw one of these tickets and they will be awarded uh, two free tickets to the upcoming show of their, of their choice. Uh, all we ask is that you call the office and let us know which show you plan to attend, okay? So there's not much to ask, I think, all right? And after eight months of doing this, still nobody has folded a crane to put in here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, my, I'm going to ask my friend Earl to pick up the, the winning ticket. Perry Schroff. Congratulations. I apologize. The coconut gods did not uh, descend upon us this week. There were no, go no coconuts at the oh Fresh God. Produce Store. And that's another story for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, I want to briefly tell you that there's all kinds of stuff going on and coming up here. Uh, at the mainstay. Uh, there, as a general rule to follow, there's something going on every weekend, and some weeks more often than that. Um, let's see, next Friday is First Friday, and our uh, resident impresario piano player, Joe Holt, who has graced us with his presence tonight, he is kind of capping off this month-long tribute in June to the Great American Songbook with a program he calls the the new Great American Songbook, and it pays tribute to uh, that next wave of immensely popular tunes by people such as James Taylor, Stevie Wonder, Sam Cooke, uh, and all kinds of things, once they cross the bridge. And he'll be joined by uh, Kelly Vale and Nick Bucci, uh, apparently a very popular uh, uh, duo out of the Wilmington, Delaware area. So that's next Friday. Uh, following that, the week after that, we're actually having our uh, 25th anniversary gala, hopefully in the backyard, which I, I think that if all goes well, that will be the first use of our backyard uh, stage area uh, after a very long planning and construction period. Um, and that's a paid party, but if you'd like to know more about it, uh, we have a band, we have food, we've got booze, uh, we got surprises, as is usually the case. And uh, that's the 9th of July. But after that, on the 15th, Poor Man's Gambit, Gambit uh, which is a, an Irish trio with all kinds of instruments, uh, a button accordion, fiddle player, a guitar player. Uh, I can't even remember the, the other. But uh, the, the principal leader of the group, um, is that redundant? I think so. The, the leader of the group... Uh, it, for years and years, danced uh, competitively in Irish dance contests, and I guess he spices up the evening as well. On the 23rd, that's the following Saturday, uh, the return of two very favorite people uh, here, and that's Buskin and Bateau, um, who have played here, I guess, a number of times over the many years that we've been operating, acoustic duo, but uh, very witty, wonderful songs, uh, not your typical acoustic duo. And then rounding off the month, uh, an evening of soul jazz with the Greg Burroughs Trio. You might know Greg as uh, Dick Durham's drummer of choice. And he's bringing uh, the big organ sound, a soulful gospel rhythm and blues kind of organ sound to the stage. And they call that soul jazz. Uh, so there's all kinds of things. Plus our open mic on the 13th, uh, which has been going very well and potluck suppers this month on a Saturday, on the 16th. Uh, we're, we're pretty busy here, and we're happy to be busy. So uh, keep coming back. Let's welcome back these guys. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. 
you so much. That was called A Sleepin' Bee, written by Harold Arlen, with a lyric by Truman Capote. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Uh, we're going to continue. Marty, you feel like clarinet? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're kind of leaning heavy on Harold Arlen. I love his music. And uh, he had a real blues quality to his writing. Um, this, is a, this is a tune he wrote in 1934 uh, for the Cotton Club Parade and um, kind of popularized by Benny Goodman. This is called As Long As I Live by Harold Arlen. Thank you. 
Marty Now, clarinet. Beautiful. You know, Phil Woods said uh, that the clarinet was invented by three people who never met each other. So, <laughs> that's how hard it is to play for some people. And he, he called it the inflictor. Just in case. <laughs> the inflictor. The inflictor. The inflictor. Wow. Take that. <laughs> All right. Um, Next is a uh, Rogers and Hart, Richard Rogers, Lorenz Hart tune, and uh, very closely associated with uh, Frank Sinatra's repertoire. This is called Where When from 1937. Babes in Arms, I believe. Thank you. 
Thank you. That's from Guys and Dolls, written by Frank Lesser, and that's called If I Were a Bell. And uh, now I'm going to get out of the way for a minute and feature, <laughs> feature Marty, Marty and Steve, and uh, I think they're going to do a beautiful ballad by Jimmy Van Heusen. Polka dots and moonbeams.
I think we're going to do one more tune and call it a night. Um, once again, how about a great big round of applause for these wonderful musicians. Steve Apshire on the guitar, Marty Now on alto. And as I mentioned um, earlier, uh, these are two of my favorite musicians to play with in the whole world. So, and Mr. Robert oh, Vitt. thank you, yeah, Robert thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Um, we hope you enjoyed our program of swinging the American Great American Songbook. Uh, we had a great time playing, so thank you very much. A, a big thank you to Matt also for having us, yeah. and uh, thanks to Clark and Danny back there yeah. taking care of the sound. I'm not sure if we're streaming live. We are, okay. Well, if Becky's watching, we wish Becky Bird a quick recovery with her ankle. So um, we're going to close out with another Jimmy Van Heusen tune. Um, this is called Come Fly With Me. Thank you all again.